Chapter Thirty Five. Then Moses assembled all the congregation of the sons of Israel, and said to them, "These are the things that Yahweh has commanded you to do. For six days work may be done, but on the seventh day you shall have a holy day, a Sabbath of complete rest to Yahweh. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death." You shall not kindle a fire in any of your dwellings on the Sabbath day. Moses spoke to all the congregation of the sons of Israel, saying, "This is the thing which Yahweh has commanded, saying, 'Take from among you a contribution to Yahweh. Whoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it as Yahweh's contribution.'" Gold, silver, and bronze, and blue, and purple and scarlet material, fine linen, goat hair, and ram skins dyed red, and porpoise skins and acacia wood, and oil for light lighting, and spices for the anointing oil and for the fragrant fragrant incense, and onyx stones and setting stones for the ephod and for the breastpiece. Let every skillful man among you come and make all that Yahweh has commanded: the tabernacle, its tent and its covering, its hooks and its poles, its bars, its pillars and its sockets, the ark and its poles, the mercy seat and the curtain of the screen, the table and its poles and all its utensils, and the bread of the presence. The lampstand also for the light and its utensils and its lamps, and the oil for the light, and the altar of incense and its poles, and the anointing oil and the fragrant incense, and the screen for the doorway at the entrance of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering with its bronze grating, its poles and all its utensils, the basin and its stand. The hangings of the court, its pillars and its socket, and the screen for the gates of the court, the pegs of the tabernacle, and the pegs of the court, and their cords, the woven garments for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister as priests. Then all the congregation of the sons of Israel departed from Moses' presence. Every one whose heart stirred him, and every one whose spirit moved him, came and brought Yahweh's contribution for the work of the tent of meeting, and for all its service, and for the holy garments. Then all whose hearts moved them, both men and women, came and brought brooches and earrings and signet rings and bracelets, all articles of gold. So did every man who presented an offering of gold to Yahweh. Every man who had in his possession blue and purple and scarlet material and fine linen and goat hair and ram skin dyed red and porpoise skins brought them. Every one who could make a contribution of silver and bronze brought Yahweh's contribution, and every man who had in his possession a cache of wood for any work of the service brought it. All the skilled women spun with their hands and brought what they had spun in blue and purple and scarlet material and in fine linen. All the women whose hearts stirred with a skill spun the goat hair. The rulers brought the onyx stones and the stones for setting for the ephod and for the breastpiece, and the spice and the oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense. The Israelites, all the men and women whose heart moved them to bring material for all the work which Yahweh had commanded through Moses to be done, brought a free will offering to Yahweh. Then Moses said to the sons of Israel, "See, Yahweh has called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah, and he has filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all craftsmanship.
to make designs for working in gold and silver and in bronze, and in the cutting of stones for settings, and in the carving of wood, so as to perform in every in inventive work. He also has put in his heart to teach, both he and Oholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to perform every work of an engraver and of a designer and of an embroiderer in blue and in purple and in scarlet material and in fine linen and of a weaver as performers of every work and makers of designs.